Today's topic, a music school review of my alma mater, the Lawrence University Conservatory of Music. Let's go. So the reason that I thought that I would be especially qualified for this video is that I actually graduated from Lawrence five years ago in 2016 with a Bachelor of Music in Piano Performance and an emphasis in Piano Pedagogy. Now I think that five years is a perfect amount of time to have developed some level of hindsight, but to also be recent enough of an alum that I have an idea of what it's still like there. Now before we get into the video, here's the obligatory please like and subscribe. Let's get into some of the basic facts about Lawrence. Lawrence is located in Appleton, Wisconsin, which is about an hour and a half north of Milwaukee, give or take, or a half hour south of Green Bay. Lawrence offers a Bachelor of Arts, a Bachelor of Music, a double degree between the two, and a Bachelor of Musical Arts, which is a new program that didn't exist when I was there. The student body totals roughly 1,400 students, all undergraduate, as you can tell. And the way it's organized, so there is a College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, or you know, the Liberal Arts College, and there is a Conservatory of Music. And there are some students who are actually in both a double degree. And finally, there's a trimester academic calendar that really does shape a lot of what makes Lawrence, Lawrence, in my opinion, being on that trimester system. And there are so many more things that you could learn about Lawrence, so I invite you to check out lawrence.edu, find out more information for yourself. My categories that I'm gonna grade Lawrence on are musical readiness, non-music academics, student life, location, and career slash grad school readiness. So that's five categories. I'm gonna be grading each of them out of 10 to get an average at the end. Okay, so let's get into that first category, which is musical readiness. How did Lawrence prepare me, in my opinion, for being a musician after graduation? The faculty are awesome. I'm gonna say it again, the faculty are awesome. I can only remember disliking one professor, and when you think of how many faculty you're gonna encounter throughout your college experience, if you only disliked one, that's pretty good. I grew a lot at my instrument as most students did. That really is what you make of it. You know, just like any other music school, if you practice sufficiently, you will grow. So music theory knowledge was just off the charts at Lawrence. So I was a B student in a lower section, right? By all metrics, I was kind of a below average music theory student for Lawrence. But when I went to music festivals and when I went to grad school afterwards, I almost always knew way more music theory than people who weren't from Lawrence. So if you can imagine the people who are A students in the higher sections and how good they must be at music theory, that's amazing. My only knock on the musical readiness side of things was that it was, it was truly hard to balance practicing enough with the rigor of the non-performance music classes. So overall, I'm gonna give musical readiness an eight out of 10, with just that one knock being kind of a large one, but it's the only thing. Okay, so the second category is non-music academics. There are lots of interesting offerings in other departments, anything from like chemistry to art history to really whatever. It was really easy to minor outside of music, which I didn't end up doing, but I came really close with minoring in Spanish. First year studies, formerly known as freshman studies when I was there, is a very formative part of the Lawrence experience. My only real knock on it is that Lawrence has so much to offer in terms of the non-performance oriented classes that sometimes it can be kind of difficult to actually find the balance in your life to practice enough, which is kind of the whole point of being there. So for non-music academics, I give Lawrence an eight out of 10 with basically the same criticism that I had for musical readiness. So my next category is student life. Lawrence had a surprisingly good social scene for the size of the school. You have to live on campus with some very specific exceptions, but that doesn't necessarily mean a traditional dorm situation. Some examples include theme houses and fraternity houses. I, I lived in two different fraternity houses actually, and I really enjoyed that. Greek life was lots of fun for me. Most of the people that I still keep in contact with to this day from Lawrence came from Greek life. So it, it's not really as crazy or stereotypical as Greek life would be at like some Big Ten state school or something like that. It's pretty tame, but it was a lot of fun. Other clubs were abundant, but much like with some of the class offerings, you really don't wanna to get too sucked in. You really have to pick and choose 
what you're gonna do and what you don't have time for. And I also really wanna impress upon you again that the trimesters really shape the culture of the school. The pro is that you have more academic flexibility. The con to a trimester system is that it really is crammed. You only have 10 weeks instead of the traditional 15 to get all the same level of coursework in, basically. For student life, I'm gonna give Lawrence a seven out of 10. I personally had a better than seven out of 10 experience, but what I've found just anecdotally from people that I know and from myself is that you either really love it or you really hate it. So I can't really give it much higher than a seven. So my next category is the location being Appleton, Wisconsin. In my opinion, Appleton is mostly pretty slept on. It has a really great sense of civic pride and community, and there's a lot more going on in terms of the nightlife. I mean, now you have Mile of Music, which was new when I was there. There are places that you can gig around town if you really look out for that. There's all kinds of things. So those Wisconsin winners, though, honestly, as, as somebody who is from Wisconsin, I lived the first 22 and a half years of my life there, I was born there, are brutal. And you've got an entire trimester of the year that has bad weather as a result. So you just have to be ready for that. Overall, location, six out of 10 is my grade for it. That's not because I think it's that bad, but because if I wanna maintain some level of objectivity, I have to realize that a lot of people were not fans. But you know, if you keep a positive attitude about it, really Appleton's great, it's just like any other place. So my final category here is career readiness. In my career, I have worked three relatively common musician jobs so far. I've taught piano lessons, I've been a general music teacher in a public school, and I've been a pianist in the Army National Guard. And I would say that Lawrence has definitely helped me with all three. So I learned how to teach through the pedagogy emphasis, and I learned myriad musical skills through piano lessons and other music classes that I had. The liberal arts mindset, I would also say, really does teach problem solving and creative thinking, and it instills a desire to learn uh, continuously throughout your life. So Lawrence does a, a really good job of finding people campus jobs that work for them. In my case, that kind of ironically happened by not happening. And what I mean is I really wanted to be a tour guide and I never was hired to be a tour guide. So I went and worked maintenance. And then when I later joined the army, you know, all kinds of things like uh, moving heavy objects, sweeping a floor, like cleaning stuff out, all this manual labor stuff was not foreign to me because I had worked that job at Lawrence. And in basic training, you kind of need those, those skills. The only knock here that I have is that I wish I would have been pushed to learn some more non-classical music because especially being an army pianist, that's a big part of the job. But from what I've gathered, uh, I think that's a problem that they're quickly fixing at Lawrence with the addition of the Bachelor of Musical Arts and other offerings that they have. So I don't think that's such a big deal. The academic rigor of the school is, is great. When I went to grad school at the Oberlin Conservatory and at the University of North Carolina School of the Arts, the workload felt familiar, or in some cases even not as much as what I had at Lawrence, and it was manageable because of my time at Lawrence. So I was definitely prepared for grad school. Overall, I'm gonna give Lawrence a nine out of 10 in career slash grad school readiness. And I would say that when you're an alum who's five years out of college, like like I am right now, you're gonna care a lot more about this category in terms of how you look back on the experience than you probably are about the other things. All right, so overall that leaves Lawrence with, according to my somewhat arbitrary grading scale, a 7.6 out of 10. It's pretty good if you ask me. No school is perfect, but LU does a pretty good job overall in a lot of different categories. The only grade that Lawrence really didn't score that well on in my assessment was its location being Appleton, which you can't even really blame Lawrence for. I mean, what are they gonna do, pick up and move to Milwaukee? I encourage anyone who has watched this video to do their own research. Again, lawrence.edu, there are so many things I didn't even really talk about, like Bjork London or the London Center or study abroad in general, but there's just so much to learn and so much to know. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I would be more than happy to answer. Till next time, my friends.